This is a little public service announcement and a shout out to me for not doing the things that I don't want to do. And I shall never do things I don't want to do. Hey, are you living your life out there doing things you don't want to do? Going to a job you want to do, you don't want to do. Going to some school you want to do. Going, doing this, doing that, doing things. Doing things for your parents, doing things for your friends, doing things for your spouse or your significant other. Doing things just because you don't know what you're doing in life. Doing things that you don't want. Hey. I'm here to break it to you, okay? A little secret. Shh, shh. You don't have to do anything, okay? You can just let it all fall away. What do I mean? You can just sleep outside. Hey, that's not favorable. That's not comfortable. But you can do that. Nobody's gonna stop you. You don't have to go to work and do some BS job you don't wanna do. Actually, better that you don't do that, huh? For your own sake and for your own sanity and for all of us. Why are you going there? Uh, because I need money. All right, I get it. You need money. I need money too. But I'm doing something that I want. Hey, what can I do that I want that people will give me money for? Okay, let's make a plan. Let's work for this. And I've gotten it. I'm achieving it now. I'm getting paid. Exactly doing what I want to do is to speak. I will say words that come out of my mouth and people will pay me literally thousands of dollars for it. Yes, you heard me correctly. You'll pay me thousands of dollars for speaking. Well, hasn't come yet. Oh, well, kind of has. So <laughs> that's the skills that I've acquired. That's the knowledge that I have. And it needs to be compensated appropriately. So if you're out there working some pizza job or some burger flipping job, you probably should stop. Probably shouldn't do that. Well, you can't stop because money needs to come in and you need uh, to eat food. But Maybe this video will tickle your brain a little bit and for the future, you can just quit. You cannot do that or let God bring you a new opportunity. Okay, hey, let's all pray for you. Let's all pray for the people that are out there in the world that are doing things that they don't want to do. Let's pray for them so that they don't have to do that. So you can just do what you want. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't life be great if you just did things that you want? No, no, that's not possible. That's not real. Hey. I don't do things that I don't want to do. And it's possible for me. Somehow I'm doing it. I'm waking up whenever I want. I'm sleeping whenever I want. I eat whatever I want. I spend time in the way that, in exactly the way that I want. Well, it took a lot of uh, striving to get here, but here I am. And uh, my life is a little bit more fortunate than yours or some of yours. That's a reality and it's not by accident. It's not that the universe threw a dice here, a little Shiva, you're like a lucky guy today. And oh, here, little Billy, you're a little bit unlucky. That's not how it is. It's based on your actions. The, f the physics of that don't line up, okay? If you believe in physics, there's no chance in physics. It's just cause and effect. These are the causes you've set in motion before birth. Hello, before you were born, you're here just the way you are because of that. And you are here because of your causes. So if you're last year, if you're the same person, you haven't set the causes in motion to be a different person. I'm not the same person last year as I am now. I'm constantly changing. That's what you should be. You should always improve and always do things that are pleasurable to you because that's the purpose of life. Well, that's a little bit silly. No, it's not silly. The purpose of life is for you to feel joy and happiness pretty much all the time. No, that's not possible. It is possible. I'm doing it. Does that mean I'm joyful and happy all the time? Well, I haven't worked on my chemistry enough to make that happen fully, but I'm getting very close. I'm forget about suffering for me. I've gone way past suffering. That's not a possibility for me anymore. And that's what I'm here to teach you. You want to stop suffering? Pay me 220 Canadian dollars. Paper link down below. We'll talk. I will resolve your suffering for you. Hmm? We'll chat. I'll solve your problems. I guarantee you. This is a skill that I have. I can see you very clearly. I can see your aura. I can see your chakras. I can see your mind. Whatever challenges or difficult situation that you're dealing with, this is the price to exchange for my skill and my knowledge. 220 Canadian dollars. Why 220? That's right now, it's an even. It's like I'm on the balancing scale. The amount of value that I have and what you need, this is an even price to exchange. Before, I, I really didn't know, but this is, this feels right. So we'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind, but I doubt it. 220 Canadian dollars will uh, 
this will be this way for uh, the foreseeable future. What else, my friends? What else needs to be shared? What else needs to be said? Um, hmm. Let's go a little bit deeper, okay? Maybe you're doing something that you don't want to do. Okay, let me, let me pause and reflect because I'm seeing someone bring food to my brother's room. My brother ordered food. And I'm seeing a man and he's uh, just took food out of his trunk and he probably doesn't like the job that he's doing. Probably not. Probably he is. I don't know. Okay, let me pause and reflect. Reflect. Sadhguru, the wise sage, one of the wisest human beings that's currently walking this earth, you can see right behind me, he says, dumb people do what they don't want to do. That's dumb, right? Yes. Smart people, intelligent people, do things that they like to do, and they enjoy themselves to some extent. But truly wise people, geniuses, they do only what is necessary. In the physical world, you may have so many things that require your attention. For example, taxes. If you don't do your taxes, the consequences are a little bit too in unproportionate to not doing your taxes. You don't do your taxes, well, you get a little bit of pleasure, but then the people come after you and you get to sit in jail. That's a little bit improportionate. That's not sensible. If you don't pay your bills, if you don't go to work, if you don't have a job, you will get kicked out of your house and you will sleep on the streets. That's also not proportional and very uncomfortable to live on the streets. You have to do what's necessary. At the same time, whatever actions you're performing in the world, your chemistry, your internal state of mind, how you're thinking, how you're feeling, what your chemistry is doing to your body, that's 100% up to you. So if you're basically, coming back to the beginning of my video, if you're a burger flipper and you don't want to do that, well, you not wanting to do that is also in your mind. You can change that. That's natural to want to avoid that and to change that situation. But the point that I'm trying to make here is you're battling with your own chemistry. I just got too convoluted bringing Sadhguru into this. Ah, oh, man. No. This still goes in line. This still goes in alignment with what I just said. Why? Because if you're a man or if you're a woman, you're a human being, you have the power to choose and you have the power most importantly to what? To create. You can create your life in exactly the way you want. Sadhguru was asked, now it's appropriate time to bring Sadhguru here. Sadhguru was asked, oh, Sadhguru, I have to go to uh, go grocery shopping and it takes so much money to cook. And, and Sadhguru says, I haven't been to the grocery store in over 10 years. In fact, I don't remember when the last time I went to the grocery store is. I've achieved it. I've made it possible for myself. Can't you do the same thing or is it some out of, out of this world possibility? You can do the same thing. You can create your lifestyle. I'm creating my lifestyle in exactly the way that I want. I will never go to work, go to school, do some job, have a boss. Excuse me, you're my boss? What is that, my boss? Let's look up the definition of the word boss and most importantly, the etymology, where this word comes from. It comes from the man that holds the whip. Hey boss, I did all the things that I needed to do, boss. Okay, you're not getting whipped today. Oh, thank you very much, boss. Fast forward a thousand years or however long this human beings were cruel to each other. Now here you are and your boss is holding the paycheck. Hey, little Billy. Hey, little Timmy. Hey, little Bobby. If you don't do this, no food for you. Excuse me. You're my boss. No, thank you. I will never have a boss. I will never have a resume. Resume that all belongs in the trash. In fact, after this video is over, uh, I think I haven't done this yet, but I'm going through my phone, all through my files, anything that has a word resume on it, straight to the trash. Oh, I've updated my resume a few years ago. Oh, it's a nice updated trash. 
I'm never creating a resume again. You need my resume? Watch my YouTube videos. That should be enough. Oh, no, no, you're too destructive. Oh, you're talking this way. Pfft, I guess I don't want to work for you then. Too bad, so sad. For you, you don't get a chance to be in this presence. Can't you be like that? Can't you create your life the way you want? Speak the way you want? Yes, you can. And it's about time, huh? Don't you think it's time? Human beings created all the necessary tools for your life to be uh, enjoyment-filled, joyful process so that you can just do whatever you want and be happy? Yes, it is. When I say do whatever you want, you need to create your life the way you want. No boss. See, I don't have a boss. I'm my own boss. I decide when I wake up, okay, boss, what's what it's time to do next? So I guess I should go take a shower. Okay, boss. That's me inside. I'm the boss of myself. Hmm. Shouldn't you be the boss of your own life? Shouldn't you be the boss of what you do with your time? Not some other man or woman, whoever your employer is. Hey, I'm your boss. Excuse me, you're my employer. And I can quit at any time. That's probably what you should do. Next time you go to your boss or your little employer when he is being a little bit fancy to you, if he has a power trip, if you have a kind of relationship, but don't do this, obviously. Hey, buddy, uh, you see that door? I can leave whenever I want. Well, if you're not valuable there, then that's not a bargaining chip. But if you're valuable there, that should be on the table always. Hey, see that door? I can just poof and leave. They should want to keep you around if you're valuable. If you're not valuable, if you're some McDonald's worker that'd be replaced in two seconds, that's not wise for you to say that, okay? <laughs> that's one of the most powerful sales techniques and communication techniques in the world. Hey, you see that? There's the door. You don't like it, there's the door. You're watching my YouTube channel leaving me negative comments. If you're still watching my video as a hater, look, there's the door. There's a back button somewhere up here. You just click out of this video. Goodbye. See you next time. Have a good time. $220, my friends. Canadian dollars is the price to properly reciprocate what I have to offer you. That's the proper reciprocation. If you're not ready for that, you're probably not ready for that, and I'm not ready for you. You need to be able to sacrifice this amount of life energy for something much bigger to come into you. That's the price. 220 Canadian dollars because I live in Canada. So, yeah, that's it. That's it, my friends. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end for this video. Do things that you like. Do stuff that you like. Don't do things that you don't want. Most importantly, create the life that you want. Buy these uh, spiritual beads. Only three left. Once these three are gone, poof. This one I'm getting, I'm giving, I'm shipping it out today. So, after this one, only three left. See you in the next video.